the black singlet blue trim on the scoreboard. Lamont trying to get to the two on one. Miranda coming out staying real low early. Neither guy really able to get to an advantage yet. Both of these guys were in senior nationals uh, in October, just basically a month ago. Both suffered upsets. So this is a chance for both these guys to get back on track. Be a quality win for either one. Official warning Miranda to open up a little bit, bring his head up. Both guys pressuring in so hard here. Yeah, very tough to call in that situation, but the margins are razor thin. Now can Lamont capitalize on the advantage? Lamont originally looking for a reverse lift, now going assassin or head pinch, coming out in front. Driving the heels, but, but Miranda's going to get one on the reversal. Yeah, tables have turned. Miranda now on top. He locks up a gut wrench. And Miranda so. cannot take further advantage. He does lead by criteria, though. They each have one point. Scores so Miranda, by dint of being the last one to score a point, I don't think it'll be the last point of this match though. So, kind of academic at this point. Yeah, and if you're Miranda, you're coming out of that happy. You were the one that got put down, but you're actually technically in the lead now. That's as good as an outcome as you can expect to get. Obviously, he would have liked a few more turns uh, while he was on top, but when you get put down, you give him a point. If you could turn that into a point for yourself, you mitigate and, in fact, reverse the damage done. In this whole match, Miranda's been trying to look for that kind of arm drag on the left arm of Lamont. Hasn't been able to get it yet, however. All right, that'll be the break. Both of these guys have some history against each other, recent history. Uh, in 2019, Taylor Lamont beat Randon Miranda for a national team spot on the senior level, but then just a week later, it was Miranda who got the better of Lamont at the U23 uh, tr finals, uh, best of three finals at the team trials. So not a surprise to see these two guys meet at the conclusion of this round robin, undefeated and in a fight for that championship stop sign. Second period underway. Nice. Oh. Two offered, four offered, two confirmed. Yeah, I like how Lamont took that chaos and instead of settling for a takedown, tried to get a four-pointer out of it. They were already on the mat, though, so two was all that was given. And Lamont's coach wants to uh, double-check Lamont check waves that. it off, though. Yeah, he doesn't want to. That's not really worth it when you get a nice move out of that. He's up three to one. And that was a beautiful off-balance there from Lamont. Yep, taking to get it, Miranda out of position and took advantage of it. Yeah, taking Miranda back over his own back, but initiating the move, so it's his points, and now his lead with two minutes and 15 seconds to go. Right back to it, that same off balance. White paddled, and white paddle confirmed no points. Very close, I believe. Uh, depending on your vantage, it may have looked like Miranda broke that 90 degree plane, but I think ultimately that was the correct call. He just avoided giving up the exposure. 
Miranda now needing to climb back out of that two-point hole. A two-point move would give him criteria advantage, so very much in this match. Ninety seconds to go in the second and final period. Both guys slowing down, looking for that final move in the final sprint. No point in giving up a costly mistake. Could change the trajectory of this match. Now Miranda looking for a body lock now, trying to snap Lamont down. Had that front head locked up for just a split second, but Lamont was able to wrestle out of there. Hey, I might come to Houston. Miranda soon. did go down, so he has the passive warning. He can't negatively wrestle and sit on a lead. Luck or <laughs> unluckily, depending on your advantage, he does not have the lead, so don't expect him to keep his head down and just block off. He's going to have to score points one way or another. 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds. Level change for Miranda. Back to neutral. Now you see Randon picking it up. This isn't where you want to be, though. Now able to come back out of that front headlock, and he's going to really have to commit to something here. Miranda saw the clock. He knows he only has a few more seconds to work. Time ticking away. That's a slip, but immaterial. Time has expired. Good match by Taylor Lamont. You like to see uh, the wrestler with the more offensive game, the more offensive uh, game plan, as it were. And there's Lamont getting his stop sign from Zach Dominguez again. And it was the off balances there from Lamont that made the difference. That's how he picked up the one takedown, which ultimately really was the difference outside of those two one-pointers that were scored. That's what won Taylor Lamont that match. Yeah, Lamont with a couple years of eligibility left at 